Alright, so we're checking out the only game where you get to become president and pass a bunch of superfluously stupid bills because you can. It's impeached. Unlike in real life, in this game when you pass a stupid bill, you actually have to explain your stupidity to the press. On the plus side, I just found out that this game added a bunch of new stupid bills to the repertoire of stupid bills. So let's go ahead and pick the dumbest ones. More impeachment, damn it! Welcome everyone to the United Republic of the People's Territories of States, where a bird of some sort that's either drunk or high on cocaine will lead the way to victory for our people. You may think it's our job, but honestly, all we're doing is signing our name on a bunch of random things that get put on our table. French fries will now be called freedom fries. I really, I actually really enjoy this one. It's gonna be tough to top that one. Pop tarts are now classified as rappy only, what? We're taking fries away from the French, I guess. Freedom fries it is, oh, I get to sign and everything. Now comes the part where we have to answer exactly why we did something so dumb. Yes, you madam in the back. France has apparently rolled their eyes at this order. Any thoughts? They just wish they were free. <laughs> I roll my eyes back. Oh, hell no, we're picking this one. As you can see, we have some scales here that we have to try and balance. I probably won't be doing a very good job at those because I'm just going to pick whatever's the best. What are your thoughts on Germany also adopting freedom fries? They're trying to start another war. Where is Germany? <laughs> so this must be like the budget. This must be like the world's opinion. And I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is just the people. Somebody just eating yeah. at us. Will freedom fries be able to carry weapons? <laughs> These questions are amazing. Silly question. That is not a silly question. That is an absolutely appropriate question. I'm glad, sir, that you asked that. I think you're a sir. You kind of look like a malformed eggplant with snow on it. Have you heard of the Second Amendment? Perfect. The treasury went down, but the people who are high on life went up. These are all the individuals who are keeping Bud Light alive over in Florida. How many of these questions do I have to answer? What did the French do to deserve this? They cheated on me, mimes. I'm not gonna lie, both of these I feel are highly appropriate. Uh, to the passing of our bill. I'm gonna go with they cheated on me because yep, see that? Look at that. Everyone really enjoyed that apparently. You're terrific. How can I be more like you? New hairdo, the freedom braid or spray tan. Honestly, if I can just add freedom to everything, I think that's what we're gonna do. French fries renamed during heartbreak. <laughs> what? We get a little bit of a, a news story that gets spun on what we have to say. This game is amazing. Rich people get free monocles or cyclists are required to make motorcycle sound. <laughs> While I'm sure rich people want to look down at the poor more these days, I, I can't pass this up. Just gotta make a real quick... Look, I know you may think that this is a very juvenile picture. It's a turkey, all right? My favorite part, answering the questions of the public. Yes, sir. I love doggos. Can I bark instead? Dogs are not motorcycles. Get out. If you can find a way to turn your dog into a motorcycle, absolutely. But until that time, no. Even when we are not riding bicycles, I guess it didn't really specify that in the bill. All day long, you need to be identified. All day long. Will the sounds make me go faster? Only to you, hard no. Only to you. If a cyclist makes sounds, but no one is around, are they still making the sound? My head hurts, demon! <laughs> I love it, I'm picking it, but I still don't understand why it was there. My child sits in the carrier behind me. Can they make the sounds? Absolutely. Children everywhere rejoice over opportunity to make dumb sounds. <laughs> Next election will be settled in the octagon. Orange is the new national color. I gotta go with the octagon. I wanna take this opportunity to draw the most freedom state in the entire world. There we go. It may look like the grip of a pistol. It's supposed to be Florida. <laughs> All right, let's see where the methamphetamine has brought you all today. Yes, sir, in the back. Are you worried we will become the laughing stock of the international community? I feel like there's been a lot of laughter directed toward us for a great many years. So I'm not really too worried we have bigger bombs. Not if I laugh at one. We always throw our bombs in the way of laughter. But sir, what if you're not as fast as lightning? Have you seen me sign executive orders or want to find out, Jim? You'll find none faster at drawing the state of Florida than myself. Also, how the hell is our happiness for our country going so far up? 
Surprise, surprise, Fox to gain exclusive access. I'm still not giving rich people monocles. However, I will absolutely fund people for search and rescue missions for lost socks. What happened here? How come we got an extra four? Where did this come from? Game devs, this is why you don't drink and develop games. I know that's what happened here. I'm still picking it. Here's your Bud Light can. I hate socks. No one asked you, Megan. Where is the funding coming from? We took it from NASA. It's not like NASA's doing anything anyway. Who cares? We need our socks. This one actually makes sense, so I'm gonna use the, uh, the parental answer and just say because we said so. Everyone was okay with that. Shouldn't we be searching for more important things like missing people? I'm not missing any people, but my socks. Look, I already cut NASA's funding. I'm not giving it back to them, so you're just gonna have to deal. Why is the world, the whole planet, totally okay with this? Everyone's like, man, Gray's got some really good ideas. We should cut the funding on our space travel as well. Have we researched why the socks are disappearing? No more questions, please. It's super important to us. Neither of these answer, well, actually, most of our choices don't answer any questions. I'm gonna go with this one. Reporter removed from press room over smelly feet. <laughs> Milk must be served in bags. This was a real thing, by the way, when I was growing up. Some kids actually had to drink bag milk. You know what you felt like when you were drinking bagged milk? You felt like a pleb. But I don't know, I guess it's better for the environment. Co cars can only go fast. I like how there's no numerical value here or anything. It's just fast. Yes, Christ, I'm trying to draw something, but it just looks like a mutated potato with blades on it. I'm not allowed to pick the pen up, so once I start drawing, I have to draw all the way. Bam. There's your Sonic. Still better than the prototype of the animated Sonic that was gonna come out. Were you inspired to write this order based on the Fast and the Furious? Obviously, I love Vin Diesel. Both these are yes, but I do love Vin Diesel. Oh my god, the world hates Vin Diesel. I'm gonna start nuking people. Were you inspired by a blue hedgehog? I literally drew- well, I'm not gonna say I drew him to sign the order. I drew a depressed potato with a heroin addiction problem on the on the order, but I liked to believe that it was Sonic. If I don't have a car, do I have to run all the time? Uh, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna combat obesity as well. President admits Red Bull partnership. <laughs> I like how that's the one thing that they picked out of all this. All sandals to be inspected for socks. God, this is relevant in Florida. <laughs> I'm not making a warrant to do national color. All right, I... I wanted to draw an alligator, but it came out looking like a malformed foot with cancer. So, whatever, that's the decree. My friends are sock puppets. Can they wear sandals? Yes. Oh, you have no friends. <laughs> what have the socks done to warrant the inspection? Unspeakable acts! They make my toe hair itchy. Unspeakable acts. The world is pleased. I heard that socks have been hiding in winter boots. We'll expand the search. Winter boots are the worst. We'll expand the search. I'll put as much money of this into this as I have to. My brother has gross toe fungus. Can we keep his socks on? Yes. Remove the toes. My God, I love it. Who will be conducting the inspections? Me or puppies? <laughs> oh, the puppies socks, the new enemy. First, we spent all of our money trying to find them. And now we're trying. <laughs> now we made them the enemy. And don't think we won't shoot the socks. We will absolutely shoot the socks. In Florida, we'll shoot anything. The sky no longer exists, or people can only eat the brown part of the banana. I, I need to know what happens when the sky doesn't exist anymore. You know what this is right here? Do you know what this is right here? I'm gonna put a little, little snorty thing right there. This is the pile of cocaine that had to be ingested in order to come up with this question. Are you familiar with the show House of Cards? Ah. Since removing the sky, biodiversity has dropped 20%. Does this concern you? 25% actually, thank you. I hate diversity. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> now that the sky is finally gone, what is your next objective? I'll take trees for 500 Alex or big things. The trees are going next. I'm pretty sure they can't survive anyway without the sky. So honestly, we're doing them a favor. It's a long, painful death for the trees. <laughs> it's just screaming. Yep. Do you have literally any scientists working for you? Do you or that is confidential? This is something like a four-year-old would say, which means it's perfect for a president. What's the newspaper going to be for this? Trees might be next on the chopping block. From now on, all babies must grow beards. <laughs> what? 
milk, but this is so second rate. Sorry, babies. Now, when you draw a baby with a beard, there's the thing there. You're gonna want to draw the baby some eyes like that there. Babies have big eyes, okay? Another eye over here. You're not actually gonna be able to see its little fetal body because the body is gonna be covered by the beard, but there's some legs. I don't think this is possible. I'm not paying you to think. Everything is possible with the right drugs it is. <laughs> At what age can we shave their beards? The age of four. Never, where did we come up with four? Never. Are mutton chops acceptable? If they're thick and hearty, never. Eh, sure, I'm not a monster. How will this affect tourism? This is a legitimate question. How did this make it into the game? People will love to come here. It won't. <laughs> People love to come here. What's the big deal? My child is a girl and she'll grow up here. <laughs> no excuse. <laughs> and the world loved it too. They were <laughs> babies break cultural barriers with respectable mutton chop. <laughs> My hips don't lie. <laughs> okay. All shoes must be Velcro. <laughs> what? I don't even know. What I mean, I guess if it's good enough for Shakira, it's good enough for the president, but I don't know what, I don't know how we're going to defend this. That's Shakira dancing. Should individuals with bigger hips be trusted less? Laugh at reporter, obviously. <laughs> Everyone enjoyed that. Would you recommend surgically removing all hips nationwide? Ignore question, get angry about healthcare. What are you trying to do to the people? Increase taxes? Are you concerned this statement may affect body image in our country? Ooh. Grow some balls, Jim. Or no. <laughs> sick. I can't help but feel that we're doing better things than real government officials. Can you address the rumors of your own personal love affair with hips? Start sobbing, deny. <laughs> Start sobbing. I hope this makes it into the newspaper. Sir, my thighs have been giving me a funny look. Should I be nervous? Yes, you should. President airs caution over untrustworthy thighs. And with this final news article, I feel that the United Republic of the People's Territory of States has been made into an even more wondrous place with no sky. <laughs> Bearded babies, hips that don't lie. Jesus, it's, it's fantastic. These orders are the best. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Impeach. Till the next time, stay foxy and much love.